Jay here, back it again with a different kind of video here in Tokyo at my second accommodation, a J Sakura Hotel in Jimbocho here. So it's winter in Japan. Whew. I got a thin jacket. It's a stylish jacket. Try to keep up with all the stylish Japanese people here. And I would honestly say of the cities and countries I've traveled to, well, like Paris, specifically in France, and uh, of course Tokyo in Japan, I would say those are probably one of the more fashionable uh, countries I've seen thus far. But that's a sidebar conversation there. Uh, headed to the Tsukiji Fish Market. Uh, gonna hit it up. Their metro station in Japan, it's insane. It sprawls. There's like multiple subways. It's confusing if you don't have like Wi-Fi. Like I can only imagine what it was like uh, with before all of those things from before. Because it's very confusing. Alrighty, so gonna head there now. Um, I need to get to like the train station, Hibaya, and uh, yeah, we'll kind of get a few street scenes and we'll get some subway scenes and then teleport to the market. See you soon. So at Jinbocho Station, a bias station, and My GPS take this purple line, the Z line, go for a few stops and then take the red line here. Just got off uh, three lines, subway lines, headed to the fish market. And there's a temple right next to me. Yeah, like I keep on suggesting, all these bigger cities, <laughs> they're actually big cities. Like, where in order to accommodate all these people, it's like, we gotta do it somehow. <coughs> like Rome, Paris, uh, Tokyo, Vancouver is not on this level. No, even close. Um, So I'm gonna try and find this. I'm gonna keep on walking. No, go from there. Stay tuned. What's interesting about Japan is everything is very nice and neatly arranged in a package. Like the architecture is very boxy. The subway is very clean. And I just passed by. Um, like a public washroom and it looks very clean as well. Like take a look at this car here, compact. It's just the vibes I get for Japan. And it's not like a tacky kind of thing that they do as well. It's very deep rooted in 
they know their feelings they know their sense of purpose so to speak it's like that samurai kind of vibe with the honor and a sense of belonging anyways so we're gonna continue on here I've been doing a lot of walking these past couple of days exploring majority of it being food at least but yeah like I said I'll check back in the market stay tuned at the fish market right now seems like all these goods are coming in fresh just need to figure out how this works in terms of food stalls because it seems like everyone is just getting ready I don't know how it works here hopefully we can find like the skewer hut and whatnot stay tuned <laughs> So I'm gonna try and find uh, some awesome food here. So I think this is the thick of this uh, this market. So I think I have arrived to the best part of the food market. I went like to an indoor one, which was a little strange, but yeah, I'm gonna try and find like the. Uh, I want to get like the white yu skewers and I also want to try some uni, fresh uni and also oysters and uh, anywhere else that looks delicious. So let's try to find like those skewers, uh, the YU ones at least and we'll go from there. So cool. Try to find some stalls. This one looks pretty awesome actually. But uh let's continue on. Expecting this market to be this big. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Still deciding. have come back so purchase one of these they also got this with sea urchin So we got the YU here. 
more, right? Two more, okay. Or I can add that on as a feed tap. Buttery smooth. I can already smell it. Let's try it. Do you guys have Here. Okay. You got So juicy. Stop at Tsukiji Market. They got this uh, YU skewer stand. <laughs> so at the second stall here, they got these massive oysters. So, I wanted to try some uni, but I don't see it here. So, let's offer like a giant oyster first and uh, we'll go from there. But I'll pass the uh, host some cash and we'll go from there. So, at the uh, second stall, I'm going to try some food at the fish market here. So they got these stalls with all these crazy animals. But the one I want, oh, there's a giant on it. Is a uh, uni, which is this part right here. So I'm gonna uh, give them the cash and uh, we'll dive in. Stay tuned. Soy sauce. Sure thing. Alrighty, folks. So, just propping my camera. So they give you this little spoon. It's shiso leaf with uni and wasabi. Pop this camera. It's a little lower. They recommended a uh, of the three sauces here. I think this is vinegar, soy sauce, and some other sauce. They recommended uh, it to have some soy sauce. I actually forgot to take a photo. Here, but... so... Get a little dollop of uh... Mm. Mm. So intense. 
So just opted to get another third item here. I got oysters. So I'm gonna quickly uh, devour this. Ready, folks? Got a giant oyster here. Hand for skill. Do you recommend the vinegar? It's best to one bite in. Mm. It's large and fresh. Alrighty, let's do a few more items at the fish market and uh, just go from there. Stay tuned. Folks, as I continue to walk through the market, I might recharge with the drink from a, the vending machine here. But uh, gonna try and find more goodies to devour upon. This fish market is pretty intense. Six dollars for that large oyster, pretty inexpensive. Uni for quite a few pieces for twenty-five dollars. It's pretty good because I remember. Purchasing uni, like a tray of it, it can go from 36 and above. So, $26 for uni is really inexpensive. Essentially, like a thousand Japanese yen is like $10 Canadian. I don't know what it is for uh, American there, US dollars, but in terms of just like the fish market so far, quite. Uh, happy with the finds I've gotten so far. Let's see if I can find more. Stay tuned. So I believe I found my fourth uh, stall here. I'm gonna get some uh, eel. So they got some bull bento boxes. But it's. I'm gonna try and find a spot where I can eat this eel. It's grilled, it's nice. Probably prop it along this fence here. Stay tuned. Alrighty, folks, found a good spot. Eel. Try it now. So it's 300 for the skewer. Eel, I am actually a fan of it. It reminds me of chicken. Very soft. at the market <clears throat> can't go wrong eel oysters uni oysters and uni at the same spot and then uh, the other uh, juju wagyu 
that was really good as well. Maybe I'll do another spot, make this video worthwhile, but it's a very large market. And for winter time, I'm surprised that they're still open. Thank God that there's no snow at the moment, but let's try to find another spot. Excuse me. So it's pretty hectic here. Ended up getting scallop and a prawn. They give you this number on a piece of paper. I'm 36. Let's wait for this to come through.
で2週間経ってあもうあの接近をしなきゃいけないのかとかやってないかっていうのを考えてみてください。Really good. Anyways, so I'll do a recap review of the Tsukiji market. It's a sprawling market, outdoor. There's like an indoor one, but I wouldn't recommend going to that unless you're like a local person who's looking for takeaway stuff. The stuff at the, at the outdoor market.、Um, some spots have, have something in my tree. Tables where you can eat at, others don't, so just be prepared. I'm gonna hand this to the host so they can、uh, make do with this, but I will recap my thoughts of the market. Stay tuned. New, click subscribe if you're returning, appreciate you. Recap review of Tsukiji Fish Market. So, when I first came from the、uh, transit, I got faked out because I thought that there was like an indoor market, but that's kind of like a separate side thing. The one you want is the outdoor market. So, of the foods I ate, the Wagyu skewer, fantastic. It was so delicious.、Uh, I had uni, I had like a big oyster,、uh, eel skewer, and.、Um, Scallop barbecued and prawn barbecued as well. So, just being a fish market, like I wanted to try a bit of everything, just like seafood.、Uh, the one lone thing that was an outlier for the fish market was the Wagyu skewers, but that ended up being one of my favorite items. Uni was also my favorite as well. Um, the eel, just the sauce,、uh, very tender. The sauce elevates that. I found the barbecue scallops and I found the barbecue prawns to be okay. I could live without eating that, but I just thought to myself, hey, if I'm coming here, might as well just try it.、Um, there w a s two items here at the fish market.、Uh, That are very prominent. One being a 
I think it's like a beef or pork uh, don, like a rice dish. It's super busy. The lineup looked like it was two hours or an hour and a half wait. Didn't want to do that, but if you go in the morning, you could probably get it. Um, and then there's like nearby a uh, like a kaisen don, which is like a seafood bowl where they had like uni and like fish row and things like that. That was very popular there, but um, I just didn't want to take the risk because I've eaten it before in an earlier video, just like a bunch of like rice dishes. So I didn't want to double up on that, but yeah. And when I go to the fish market, just get like the stuff from the fish stalls itself or just like the outdoor stalls whole entire experience uh there's something similar but not on the same degree as the Tsukiji fish market in Vancouver so this one is leaps and bounds ahead the fish is fresh I do enjoy the experience and just the stalls and such so if you have a chance hit it up but it's a sprawling market there's so many stalls if I can recommend something for sure get the uni for sure get the Wagyu skewer and if you can uh, the eel is pretty amazing those are my top three items uh, the barbecue stuff for the scallops prawns and etc I found that to be okay but if that's up your alley definitely get it but would recommend this whole experience um, take care signing off and hope you're enjoying this Tokyo series and bye for now